Welcome to episode one of Amazing Archaeology at Worthing Museum and Art Gallery. My name's James Sainsbury, I'm the archaeological curator here at the museum, and today we're going to start episode one with this bust of a Roman boy. Now we believe this is actually a bust of the Emperor Lucius Verus. He was co-emperor with the more famous Marcus Aurelius and was the adopted son of Antoninus Pius. Uh, he was ruling between 161 and 169 AD, so he had eight years being co-emperor of Marcus Aurelius, but he was born in 130, so he died at 39 years of age. Now, Lucius Verus was a successful military commander when he got to the position of emperor. He fought extensive campaigns against the Parthians in modern-day Iraq, and he fought campaigns against the Marcomanni tribe in Germania after they crossed the Danube. One of the interesting facts about Lucius, as you can see his hair here, it was actually quite light, it was almost blonde, um, from what we have from uh, documentary evidence. He actually put gold dust in his hair, um, so it'd shine even, even more on the battlefield and he would look even more magnificent. Now, after his campaigns against the Germans in 169 AD, on his way back to Rome, he fell ill, supposedly with food poisoning. We actually think today this possibly was smallpox, part of the Antonine Plague. He only lasted a few days before he died. Now, though he did have minor uh, differences with his co-emperor Marcus Aurelius, Marcus Aurelius did actually grieve for him, and he was actually declared a deity by Marcus and the Roman Senate and became Divus Verus, so he actually became a god in his own right after his death. Now this bust of Lucius Verus, we don't know where it was found, so we're not absolutely sure of the provenance of it. It's unlikely that a bust of this quality would have been found in Worthing. As far as we know, there aren't any large palatial villas in the immediate Worthing area. And we also have no documentary evidence as to this being found in any, even any of the substantial villas that we have, like possibly one at Grand Avenue, for example, and even underneath the museum itself where I'm sitting today. One of the interesting things about this bust as well is, as you can see here, the, the lower half is actually of a different stone. This is probably made in the 18th, maybe early 19th century when it was discovered. And we think it was probably discovered in modern day Chichester during building work. The stone for the, the top of the bust, now this is probably Italian marble, similar to that very large bust we have of Trajan that was found at Bosom in 1800 and is in the Novium Museum. One of the things that's always worth remembering when looking at busts like this, is that most of these are actually brightly painted. They would look quite gaudy to our eyes at the time. So around maybe 160, 150 AD, when this originally was commissioned, he would have had bright yellow hair, he would have large eyes would have been painted, uh, and he would have been quite gaudy to our eyes. But this was, this was standard practice for Roman statues. Over the centuries, of course, when it's been in the ground, the pigment's worn off, and now we have these very austere looking statues, the kind of thing you would see in, in Rome in the museums there as well. But they originally would have been very bright um, and very noticeable. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the videos, then please subscribe. And if you have any comments, just leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you again.